Thanks to technology, special effects in movies have reached a level that makes it almost impossible to recognize what is real and what isn't, and it's always incredible to see what famous movies look like without the effects. For the iconic opening scene in Uncharted, Tom Holland had to endure movements similar to astronauts training for space and said that it was the hardest thing he's done on screen. He even was hit by this prop car 17 times to get the right shot. But the hard work definitely paid off since after the effects and CGI were added, it looks super realistic. Apes are some of the smartest animals, but not enough to act. That's why when watching the film Planet of the Apes, one would think it's solely CGI, but they actually use motion capture, with real actors in gray suits and arm extensions enacting the scenes, making the performance of the apes on screen more realistic and emotionally engaging. The most thrilling on every single level. <sighs> Even though actors like Christian Bale are known to be able to gain and lose tens of pounds in a matter of months, it's really not healthy to make such a drastic transformation in such a short time. That's why in the first Captain America movie, the filmmakers spent a lot of time thinking how they were going to portray this skinny version of Captain America in a way that's realistic and make the audience emotionally attached to the character. The producers ended up taking it to a whole other level by shrinking him frame by frame in many scenes, which consisted of thousands of shots, because the fully CGI version looked too creepy. It's all sorts of things. Are they different actors? No. Well, do you do a Tom Hanks castaway thing? Well, our schedule wouldn't allow time for Chris to get that skinny and bulk back up again. So we started looking at a number of effects processes to get it done. All CG came up. We just didn't feel it was there. It wasn't right, and it was enough of that creepy factor that you would never be able to fall in love with it. You turn around and we're probably going to be, I don't know, 12, 13, 1400 shots, taking the original photography of Chris Evans, thinning him down, and just by frame by frame, painstakingly reshaping his entire body for the first third of the movie. James Cameron is a firm believer that actors are the ones who create emotions in films, and that their job in post-production is to make sure it translates into the big screen. Family is our fortress. What is this? I find as a director, I'm much more attuned to the actors because that's all I have to worry about. Okay, not a movie, but a show. Squid Games is one of those shows that didn't rely as much on CGI, but more practical effects such as real explosives, stunt work, and other physical elements. Despite this, there was CGI used for certain aspects of the set design in creating the expansive and visually striking location where the games took place. <laughs> Pretending there's an object in front of or next to you when there's nothing there but cameras and the crew can be a difficult task, especially for younger actors. This is why during the making of Clifford the Big Red Dog movie, they had a sort of stand-in crew member who held Clifford's head, which I guess makes the question what do you do for a living a little complicated. The first and second Spider-Man movies marked a significant turning point for superhero movies and was one of the early successes in the modern era of comic book adaptations. The film made extensive use of special effects to bring Spider-Man to life. For example, even though a physical costume was worn by Tobey Maguire or stuntmen, CGI was used to add dynamic elements such as the eyes, and the film also used an extensive amount of wire work and practical effects. you have to put the right right timing right action on spider-man otherwise if you do some like chinese kung fu you would be feel oh what okay you got to give props to actors for keeping a straight face while filming maybe Cara danvers is tougher than you think A scene that really stands out from the John Wick saga is the incredible motorcycle fight scene in the final movie of the trilogy. Everyone in the crew knew they were in for a long day when they saw that scene, involved a sword fight on top of a motorcycle chase, but the results made it all worth it. Hulk isn't entirely CGI, with Mark Ruffalo's features and facial expression playing a crucial role in the final result. Before, they've always been a CGI creature that very much was a CGI creature, but now with the motion capture technology that we have, you know, we're, we're building every expression and movement that the Hulk does off of Mark. But for some iconic scenes, such as Thor fighting Hulk on the first Avengers, due to the size difference, they had to use a stunt actor in a huge bodysuit.
From the enchanting flying carpet to fight scenes and the intricately crafted props, the film's creators for the movie Aladdin seamlessly blended practical effects and CGI to capture the essence of this original tale. But perhaps one of the most interesting behind-the-scenes facts of the movie is that for the underwater scene, the actor was actually underwater, instead of just relying on special effects, with a few divers accompanying the actor with an oxygen tank. I've never done any underwater work. This is my first. Rehearsed it about three times underwater, getting used to equalizing and whatnot. You know, Aladdin's in costume, his hands are tied, his legs are tied, so it's quite a lot that goes into it. And obviously, I don't have any oxygen when I'm doing it, so uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to it. Space Jam A New Legacy had a budget of $150 million, and one can easily see why. Through live action and motion capture, athletes such as LeBron James played basketball and made different moves with the help of harnesses and props on set, seamlessly blending their movements with the animated characters. And the film's stunning visuals were brought to life by the collaborative efforts of hundreds of artists with some scenes taking over a year to make. Hey, LeBron, what up, Playboy? Oh, this is really happening. <laughs> Without the CGI and editing, some scenes simply don't look as impressive. You might expect the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to be, well, CGI creations, but behind the scenes there were actual people involved with huge shell-shaped backpacks and motion capture suits. Some actors were even hesitant to take the role at first, because no one would know they were involved in the movie. But the reasoning behind is that filmmakers aim to strike a balance between the larger-than-life turtles and their relatable human counterparts. Facial capture has been done before, but what we've done is we've taken it to the next level. It's a fairly complicated process with having to capture that performance targeted onto a digital representation. Justice Ling ranks number 10 in the most expensive movies ever made. Sadly for the first release of the movie, the director Zack Snyder had to leave mid-production due to a family tragedy, so the vision of the movie changed with the new director. This and other factors caused the first release to flop and didn't get to the break-even point of $750 million, which cost Warner Bros. a loss of around $60 million. But a few years later, Zack Snyder was given the opportunity to complete his version of Justice League and released his remastered and re-edited version of the movie, which was four hours long and much better critically perceived. In order to give Emma Watson an accurate height and size depiction of the Beast in Beauty and the Beast, the producers made Dan Stephen wear a motion capture suit on stilts and a lot of padding. Puppeteering the suit for the motion capture, that's an ordeal. But for most other scenes, it was just Emma herself, and everything else added in post-production. It was literally me sitting at an empty table for seven days. Just looking at nothing, it was the most boring scene I have ever had. Life of Pi follows the journey of a man who survives a shipwreck and has to share a lifeboat with a Bengal tiger. In order to get the scenes right, the team first came up with an animated pre-visual of what they wanted the scenes to look like. And then to make it come to life, they used a combination of scenes with a real tiger on set, and for scenes with Pi interacting with the tiger, it was just a man in a blue suit. Instead of what most portrayals of Megalodon in movies are, which is just a scaled-up great white shark, for the movie Meg, the team created a realistic model of a Megalodon to the correct scale. And to make it more realistic, they even modeled the muscles and skeleton to react to impact. Despite Bradley Cooper being the voice behind Rocket in Guardians of the Galaxy, the director's brother was the one acting some of the scenes, to establish proper eye lines and understand the character's spatial presence in the scene. It also helped for the real actors to have someone to respond and engage with, making the interactions feel more natural. In Maze Runner, the towering walls weren't built by giants, but by the magic of visual effects and a post-production budget in the millions. With a lot of creativity, Johnny Depp and Orlando Bloom made do of fighting zombie sharks in the ocean, but with no actual water nor sharks. Back in 1997, Titanic was instantly recognized for its groundbreaking special effects at the time, with an intricate set design and cutting-edge CGI that made the movie look incredibly real. A significant portion of the movie was filmed on a full-scale replica of the Titanic that was made on a gimbal rig that consisted of a hydraulically controlled platform, so it can be tilted during the sinking scenes. For the horror movie Old, the director wanted the beach to look sinister and give a dark feeling for the viewer. To achieve this, the crew flew out mountain props to create a sinister presence. Sometimes props don't go according to plan. Disney tried its best to create a skirt that transforms into a parachute for this scene on the movie Cruella, but ultimately it had to be designed using CGI. 
There's no other monument or iconic structure that's been through the thick and thin more than San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge, with the destruction of it seen in many movies such as The Pacific Rim, Terminator, X-Men, and many others. But one of the most special ones is the movie San Andreas, which portrays the aftermath of a massive earthquake in California, and the post-production went all out in creating 1,300 different scenes. To show the destruction of the entire state, 